Hello everybody, Dr. Donna here, and today we're gonna to talk about some new products that we have at Innate. So right behind where Laura is, of course, you see that we've got a bunch of standard process and Young Living, and you've absolutely seen all that stuff there. Well, one of our newer favorite companies is a company called Four Sigmatic, and we currently have their coffee, we have their elixir, we have their cacao mix, and we have their protein. So we're gonna do a quick little like get to know me about each product. So coffee, you know we love coffee. I did just give it up. I'll talk about that in a moment. Don't judge me quite yet. But coffee is one of the most heavily sprayed, moldy, junky kind of beans, especially in the US. So when you drink bad quality coffee, you're basically putting toxins in your system, right? And that's kind of when we feel that like jittery, or some people are like, dude, when I drink coffee, like that acid in my stomach is burning because of the acidity, of course, of the coffee, but it's more the quality of what you just put in. So maybe there were, um, maybe there was more Roundup or glyphosate or whatever that they sprayed on it and that's what you got. And also if you're drinking that poor quality coffee, you're probably getting a really bad like dip, like once you're off of that like coffee high. So, you know, go into your pantry, check out what you have and um, just be mindful of where it comes from. It doesn't necessarily always have to be organic because as you've learned, um, sometimes all everything the company does is absolutely up to par it's just like the name of it right so like find out about the company just like you find out about everything else you're putting into your system um four sigmatic is gonna have some mushrooms in it i, I remember the first time someone was like does this taste like mushrooms? And I was like, no, it just tastes like regular coffee with like an earthy hint to it. So none of this is that kind of mushroom. These are some different like medicinal type things that you can use. This one specifically has um, lion's mane and chaga. There's a bunch of different types of mushrooms, which you'll see some of the proteins and the elixirs will have too. But these are just going to be some phenomenal superfoods into your system. Um, what's a superfood? just that it's a food that's really good for you so uh you know superfoods are supposed to be feeding your system like all the nutrients that you need then the more of them that you have in your body the better you'll be because we sometimes forget how important nutrition truly is to our insides so if you don't want to go down a coffee journey like i just kind of stopped you can do some of the elixirs honestly i stopped drinking coffee just to give my adrenals a little bit of a like a shake up just something different uh, i wasn't drinking an excessive amount i had zero issue stopping from one day to the next i just went cold turkey years back i remember when i wasn't so mindful of what i was drinking i would have a massive migraine like things just would not feel good until i would have that little hit of my coffee right and speaking of little hit if you're a Starbucksser, lean in on this one for me. Don't do it. I know, but it's so good and they're frappuccino, whatever it might be. It's just not good quality, guys. If that's a part of like your multiple times a week um, diet, some of your health issues kind of could be contributing from your Starbucks habits. Support a small business, first of all. Second of all, around here, we have the best coffee shops around. So find a small one, ask them questions. Most of them know where their beans are coming from. They're companies that you probably have never heard of, but the quality is gonna be unmatched, okay? And if you don't care about my Starbucks hate, that's okay too. You can forever drink it because that's your body and not mine. Anyway, on to the non-caffeine version. We can do a cacao. This is basically like having hot chocolate. It's got um, some cardamom, some stevia, some reishi, some cinnamon, coconut palm sugar, cacao. Uh, you can have this by itself. If you want it to be like nice and decadent, then you can totally have it with like coconut milk or cashew milk. Um, the second thing that you can do is you can mix these two together if you just want a little bit of a sweeter thing in the morning. Um, the elixir mix, this one is chaga and it's got a couple other good things like uh, mint and rose hip and things like that. This one just pretty much tastes like, like a weaker version of coffee. Like it looks like an instant coffee without that like, you know, instant hit. Um, but you can mix these together. You can have them separate. You could do both of these, both cold and um, hot. And then um, I like this one just kind of by itself in the mornings. I like this one just kind of maybe in the evening sometimes, and sometimes I get creative and I mix them both together. It is much heavier as a latte if you do it, but needless to say, it's delicious. I'm gonna hand this off for a minute. Okay, and lastly, we're gonna talk about um, protein powder. Protein powder is one of those things where I feel like people have a really hard time finding a good one, and 
I'm right there with you because I always hear like, oh, it hurt my stomach or like I felt so bloated or gassy or like, I don't know what it is. Uh, by no means, you know, this is a, um, a plant-based one. We go back and forth. We don't just do plant-based personally, but I do love the way this one uh, just does in my system. Yes, you might feel, or this is how I felt initially when I had it. Um, I could feel some stuff in my gut, but it wasn't a bad like, oh my God, what did I do? It was like, oh, I just got a bunch of fiber because I mixed a bunch of stuff with it. Um, it tastes great. This one's unflavored. It gives you a little bit of a better opportunity to make it whatever you want. Uh, it does come in a chocolate and a vanilla if, and a peanut butter. Totally not my, my thing to do the peanut butter, but if you are, let us know, we can get it for you. Um, and this one is a combination of pea, hemp, chia, pumpkin, coconut, ashwagandha, chaga, reishi, turkey, lion, turkey tail, lion's mane, and it's got a couple other words that I can't enunciate, so I'm not even gonna make a fool. Uh, one scoop of this is 18 grams of protein. My favorite way of having it is mixed with either coconut or cashew milk, and then I like to add some extra superfoods. I like to add some maca, I like to add some cacao nibs, I like to add some more chia, which now I'm remembering double the chia is probably why my stomach felt like that. So if you feel it, don't be alarmed. Um, and then once in a while, I might end up doing like a little bit of a banana or if I want it to be like kind of lower in sugar, then we'll do some of the darker berries um, and some avocado. If you've never used avocado in a smoothie, do it. Not only will it give you phenomenal fat content, um, but especially if you're doing something more chocolatey, it blends really well. Avocado and cacao are like the base of a vegan mousse. So it doesn't taste weird. It's not like guacamole in your uh, berry smoothie, I promise. But it's a great way to keep that fat there, which then keeps your blood sugar more even keel. Um, I believe the protein powder is 50. The coffee is 22. The packets, if I'm not mistaken, are two bucks each. You're more than welcome to buy one or you can buy the whole box. Um, if you have any questions about any of the Four Sigmatic stuff, please please let us know. The quality of their stuff is phenomenal and um, happy mushrooming everybody.